Welcome to the iRacing British Touring Car Championship, round 22 from Alton Park here on BSR TV with me, Chris Cohen, joined in the commentary box by Matt Dalton. Evening, Matt. Evening, Chris. Evening, everybody. And joined for the very first time, delighted to say, in the pit lane by Clyde Whiting. Evening, Clyde. Evening, Chris. Evening, Matt. And evening, everybody at home. Just enough time before we go to the grid for round 22 to have a quick look at the top of the standings and as you can see 281 points for Chepilevsky, 281 points for Andreas Katz as well. That's going to be uh, one hell of a battle out there on the track. We're hoping to see one, aren't we? Yeah, absolutely. It's um, looking forward to some good battles tonight. Sutton takes pole position though. Neither of those two drivers could beat his qualifying time. A very low 136.8. Chepileski came close, but no cigar. Uh, Richard Wilde will start from the fourth position on the grid. So, the track just about ready to receive these drivers now as their quick warm up session comes to an end. 12 laps in race one around Alton Parks and, uh, Parks, Alton Park, and we're looking at about uh, 138 probably race pace. Yeah, uh, mid 37s to 38s, I would think. Yeah, it's um, interesting to see what will happen, really. I, some of these guys who are, have been quick in qualifying might not be so quick in the race, and some of the guys further back might be quicker. Well, one man we're expecting to see come through the field is going to be Ander Diaz, who's starting in the 15th spot. He, uh, well, he's got the potential to be in the top 10, hasn't he? If he can get, if he can finish, yeah. Uh, like I said, this is going to be great. I can't wait to see what's happening. I'm trying not to make any predictions because I don't want to curse anyone. We keep doing that to poor Dave Brunel in the, in the Monday series. So. Yeah, absolutely. So, Sutton, pole. That's the green car on the outside of the grid. And Chepilevsky will be making his way onto the grid shortly in second place. Katz is third. Fourth is Richard Wilde. Uh, that's Katz with the green mirrors on the eBay Motors car. Richard Wilde just appearing on the grid there. Smolensky fifth. Watch out for Smolensky. He's got the potential to do some serious damage. He won two of the last races here from uh, Charlotte Motor Speedway. And Simon Field in the sixth position. He has got the yellow and black car, which is on the left-hand side of the grid there. The lights are on. Round 22 of the British Touring Car Championship in iRacing is about to go green we've got green the racing is underway Sutton pulls away in the lead of this race what's going to happen down into turn one this is going to be a fascinating race it's all to play for at the top of the championship as well Sutton takes it into the first corner Wilde's gone off onto the grass he's come on in front of Simon Field and that's an ugly incident there but uh, seems to be okay at the moment Sutton leads the field down to turn two Chepilevsky second and uh, we've got an incident behind one of the Bianco cars has turned around and is that Craig Ray who's turned around as well? Yeah it's Craig Ray who's uh, gone off as well. Oh what a shame for Craig Ray but Sutton leaves the field still and it's uh, Chepilevsky second Katz is in the third position and uh, Richard Wilde looks to have lost it he is not in the running is he? No, Craig Ray tangled uh, with Nico Brandt, so that's the two that went off there. And just look at this, Simon Field looking for a way round Ellis Stevens, who's managed to sneak his way into fourth position as they come down to the chicane for the first time. There's a, is that Smolensky off in the background? He just yep. about recovers it, just kept it out of the wall there. Field's he's gone well very done. wide. He's made the pass, but he's gone very wide, and that's uh, Tom Stanley looking to come through past Ellis Stevens there. And uh, Russell Laidler as well in the uh, orange car you can see there, so Field up to third position, uh, fourth position, I beg your pardon. What a first lap this is. Yeah, it's all action all over the place, isn't it? Um, not sure what happened with Andy Dalton there off the start. It looks like he's got some damage. And Nico Brandt is another withdrawal, uh, another retirement, unfortunately. Uh, as his first race, qualified very well, but um, don't know what happened to him. Uh, maybe we can get a word from Clyde on that as well. Uh, Clyde will be having a look at the start just to give us some more information about what we missed because everything was happening there. Field now looking to stretch the gap from Stevens to come on to lap two. Tom Stanley in third with Laidler hot on his heels and Laidler runs a little bit wide there. Bond is uh, doing... Bond slowing down. Oh, I don't know what's going on there. Well, Laura Bond was in the 8th position. Big damage on the front. Yeah, and we've lost... Uh, Maybe it's just a slowdown. I think that was just a slowdown penalty. 
Okay, so uh, nope, Bond's still in it. Got some issues there. Well, we just lost Martin Johnson. Just having a look at that Team CQR, who was coming round uh, the non-turn at turn two, got way too much curb there, and uh, yeah, he's binned it. Unfortunately, straight into the uh, the tyres, the gravel seemingly doing nothing there. Pulled it back on the track, but uh, it's a little bit too late, unfortunately. Meanwhile, at the front. We have uh, Ashley Sutton, and the, the, the information here is not actually correct. Adam Terry is showing as number one, but he, he didn't actually start. So there we go. It's updated itself now, so Ashley Sutton in the lead of this race. But Chepolevsky is making sure he doesn't get away. Yeah, I'm just, I don't know what happened with Laura Bond at the start there. I think maybe she just got a uh, cut the course slowdown penalty, but she... Um yeah, Laura definitely got a slowdown penalty there. She had... Uh two wheels right over the white line then had to slow down uh, yeah that's a, sh that's a real shame and uh, this is one of those tracks where iRacing really needs to have a look at that because it's um, some of the penalties that it dishes out to people for uh, for doing that are uh, draconian in the extreme well the slowdown is always a lot more severe than it would have been um, if you'd taken the course properly but Bond is only down to 14th so she's still in the points here 15 places award points in this series and uh, she's still running, although, as you say, with some damage, but it looks like it's not mechanical damage to that car, so she's still in the running. Meanwhile, at yep. the front, uh, chepolevsky has got the run on Sutton out of turn two. Down to the kink, they're going through too wide. Sutton on the outside. This is dangerous. Oh, Sutton just about holds it. He's going to have the inside into the hairpin. He's hard on the brakes. Chepolevsky's going to have to let him go. And, uh, yeah, he's going to have to give that one up. The cats are sneaking. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Almost from Andreas Katz there. He wisely decided to pull out of it. But that was a brave move from Sutton to hold on to the lead. Yeah, not sure the withdrawal method is always the safest, but um, it's certainly better than the alternative. And he, uh, he probably did the right thing in backing out of that one. Chepolevsky having a look now, but he's not going to make it work down into the chicane. These guys will be bleeding time to the uh, little pack that's formed behind them as well. So it's Ashley Sutton from Stelian Chepolevsky, then Andreas Katz, and Stevens goes side by side with Field as uh, Field makes a hash of the chicane again. But that's put Tom Stanley, who is in six, looking for fifth. He's got the inside line now as we come down to that double apex right-hander. Is he going to force the issue? Yes, he is. He's down the inside, and uh, Stevens is going to have to let him go here. Stanley completes the pass, and that's Laidler right behind. So Stevens drop in another position, and uh, Laidler will want that one as well. But uh, he's had a good run, Tom Stanley, isn't he? Fantastic so far. A little bit bent out of shape that Russell Laidler CQR Fanta, but still going, still going strong in the seventh position as well. And uh, what about that, Tom Stanley up to fifth? Yep, so we've got the uh, battle of the wills that we were predicting, and a Diaz just going around Nick McCarron for 8th and 9th. So Diaz up from 15th to 8th, so a great performance from him so far. McCarron unable to hold him off, and that's Dan Hunt just behind, going well in position number 10. Well, let's just jump back to the front of the field, because that's where the... Uh, that's where the real points are going to be awarded at the end of this race. As we're on lap 4 now, out of 12, Sutton just cannot shake Chepolevsky and Katz. It's a, it's a train of cars there that he's going he's gonna to be um, regretting qualifying on pole, isn't he? Oh, I don't know. I think he'd be quite happy, to be honest. He's um, not one of those guys who pressure seems to affect too much. So, well, if these guys running quite nicely at the minute. He's damage-free. He's running consistently. I think he's, uh, he's doing very well at the minute, really. Just a touch of break there on that right-hander is let Chepolevsky have a little bit of a sniff. And Chepolevsky seems quite content to run just off the rear bumper of that CQR machine at the moment. So uh, no, no need to make any rash overtaking moves because I think Chepolevsky is probably well aware that if he makes the pass, he's not going to pull away very much. So probably not worth it for him. No, and as long as he sees Andreas Katz dropping off behind... Well, I was going to say dropping off behind him, but I think he's pulled back up there, isn't he? And oh, Chepolevsky's disappeared. It's a disconnect, that's gone. a disconnect for Chepolevsky. Wow. It looks that way, he may pop back up in a second, but... Well, if he's not on the track, as far as the server sees it, as he goes over the line, then it's going to be a disqualification, which will be incredibly unfortunate for Chepolevsky. What a shame, that was that a great battle. huge. Meanwhile, Tom Stanley up to the fourth position. Oh, no, sorry, that, he was in fifth and he's fourth now because of Chepolevsky. I thought he'd overtaken someone, but he hasn't. My mistake. Yeah, Stellion hasn't had, he hasn't had the disconnect message yet, but... Um, 
Now let's watch out for Ander Diaz because he's coming through the field. He's um, Nope, there he goes. Chapolevsky's out. Big news at the top of the championship then because he'll score no points from this round and Katz will take possibly, potentially, points for second place unless he can find a way around Sutton. Yeah, that's huge. Well that is huge. Things could really hot up in the championship as well. Uh, running at the back, uh, Richard Wilde, who was going so well, currently in 24th. And Adam Terry, that couldn't get into practice or qualifying, he's also in, running 23rd. And if Adam Terry is in the session, uh, I'm going to say someone must have voluntarily dropped out of that session uh, to give him the run, because I doubt he would have just barged in um, and taken someone else's slot away. That's not his style at all. So good to see him in the running. Oh, and Stephen Hefford um, has got past Dan Hunt. Oh, Dan Hunt's in the barrier. Oh, what a shame. The eBay Motors driver just loses control there. That's, uh, oh, and what's happened to Dan Hunt? He just looked to spear off the track and into the barrier. Didn't look like there was any contact. Um, maybe we'll get a, another analysis there from, from Clyde in a moment because that was, that was shocking for Dan Hunt. Uh, it was going so well as well. So after just coming on to um, lap 6 now Sutton leaves this race from Andreas Katz 0.8 of a second Field is in third some way back Tom Stanley is up to fourth position Ellis Stevens is fifth right on the tail of Stanley and Russell Laidler is up to six so coming down to turn two once again Stanley's run pretty wide there Stevens might have a sniff down the inside now. Stevens, yes, he's going for it down the inside. He's going to have to make this work too wide through the kink. And uh, Stanley's not going to give him any kind of room here. Oh, it's really close, almost contact there, but Stevens just makes the pass and Stanley has dropped a position. So Stevens will be happy to be back up in fourth, Matt. Yep, yeah, he's having a good run, Ellis, and uh, Simon Field, meanwhile, doing a very solid job in P3. I'm having issues with eye racing of my own at the minute as well. I don't know what's going on with this session, but um, <laughs> some weird things happening all over the place. And Laura yes. Bond up to. Sorry, go ahead, Clyde. Yeah, Chris, just going back to the Dan Hunt, inc Dan Hunt incident. Um, running closely behind Nick McCarran and Ander Diaz, who are having one hell of a fight round here. Uh, looks like he just touched the grass and it just shot the car round, and that was game. It'd be not like either of those two doesn't mind a squabble, do they? Uh, <laughs> Nick is Nick is never uh, never one to shy away from an, an argument, is he? No, no, absolutely. And and just coming back to Laura Bond now because we're just having a look at her progress against Julian Janowski just up ahead. He's um, well, he's made she's made quite a recovery after her early slowdown, and uh, that eleventh position for Janowski could be under threat any minute as she was looking for a way around there. That's uh, that's Ander Diaz just up in front as well. He's down to 10th position, so it looks like something's happened to Diaz that we haven't seen, unfortunately. Yeah, just looking at it now, Chris, the uh, Ander Diaz running close behind Nick McCarran trying to get past, just went too hot into the corner, onto the grass, and that was it, another position lost. So uh, we know he runs very hot, Ander Diaz, and he's done such a good job of getting up to well, he was as high as 7th at one stage, but uh, that he's given some of that lead away, that benefit away, but we are riding on board with Laura Bond's Bianco car now, and you can see there's hardly any gap between the next three cars up in front. Diaz is looking for a way around Tim Mawson, who we haven't mentioned yet, but is running very well in ninth position at the moment. Mawson probably doesn't have the pace to keep Diaz behind, is that fair Matt? Yeah, possibly. Um, we know Andy Diaz is quick in a race, but we also know that more than that, he's, uh, he's not somebody you want in your rearview mirror, is he? He's, uh... No, absolutely. So Tim Morrison driving for Jack Goff here. He is in ninth position, Diaz 10th, Julian Janowski is in 11th for Addison Lee Racing, and Laura Bond recovering well, but uh, down to 12th at the moment. As two thirds of this race has gone already, I always struggle to uh, tell exactly where it's gone because the action is always so thick and fast here. It's frantic, isn't it? British Touring Car Championship. Yeah. Well, I don't think P12 is too much of a disaster for Laura here, actually, because that will put her in reasonable place in the next race that, you know, we know. P2, race 2, that P10 is all important for pole in the third race. 
might be uh, not necessarily all bad news for Lorio. Well, Diaz is taking it easy for now, but will he try and make the pass coming down into turn two? It's one of the major opportunities to pass if you're close enough, but not the case this time for Ander Diaz. So he shouldn't be too disappointed with a 10th place finish if that's where he ends up finishing, but... Uh, Ander Diaz is not going to settle for 10th. He was Absolutely. also very, very close to taking his teammate out in that incident he had behind Nick McGarren. So his yep. teammate there, Stephen Hefford, uh, in the US he, racing machine. He won't care one jot at any of that. He'll be going for it, no worries. And just to say, Stephen Hefford running extremely well here. Eighth position is uh, well above where he's normally able to finish. So, uh, oh, and that's, um, is that Smolensky he's just overtaken? That's a back marker there, so good of that back marker to get out of the way. Might have might have wanted to yield on the straight perhaps next time, um, especially considering it's not racing anybody. But uh, Sutton, up at the front, still, he has led this entire race, but Andreas Katz looks like he's got more pace this late in the race. And we were talking before, weren't we, about uh, Sutton's ability to hold on to his tyres. Yeah, he, uh, well, I mean, at the moment, all you can see is he looks to have learned his lesson, doesn't he? He's a uh, nice little half-second gap. He's had that pretty much all the way through the race. He, uh, he looks fairly measured to me. Well, let's just see if he can hold on to this lead for another three laps. Katz will know as well, though, that Chepolevsky is out. He's not going to risk anything. There is no way he is going to take a chance with his main rival out and a five-second gap to Simon Field behind him. You know, he's not going to want to force the issue at all. Ashley Sutton is, you know, is there in the race, no problem, but he is not a threat in the championship, and Katz is not stupid. He will, he'll know that. And a couple of guys, meanwhile, on the Twitch TV chat just saying, uh, looks like a great league, really want to join. Um, yeah, by all means, it's open to anybody with an iRacing subscription. So just uh, head over to the league section and type in BTCC and you can submit an application there. And there's also a, a forum thread in the private league section where you can express your interest and discuss the racing with some fellow drivers as well. Let's cut yep. back to the ninth position now because that... Uh, uh, sorry, and, and Diaz has managed to get round Tim Mawson now. But there's a bit of a traffic jam Kelsey forming Reed. behind. So Tim Mawson in 10th, but that's Janowski and Bond. And janowski has got to watch out. He's in a he's in a, a, a Kia Optima sandwich at the minute, and he doesn't want to... Oh, and he's, he's got a little bit wide there, letting Laura Bond have a quick sniff at his rear end there, and uh, Laura's going to want to get as many places back as possible. But uh, as she's you said before... She's cotton wool for her nose first. <laughs> As you said before, she's not one to, to push on the overtaking and she does yield very politely as well. Um, one of the more polite drivers out there on the service and uh, she really needs to just go for it and uh, late break Janowski into one of these corners. Yeah, just punt him off, why not? I would. Not quite um, what I was suggesting. <laughs> I know, but this is this is all about entertaining the people watching, not so much about uh, competitiveness in the series. That can... Uh, <laughs> That comes as distant second. Oh, she's having a good run, Laura. She's driving really well. The lap times are good. You know, if she gets an opportunity here, she can um, make an opportunity, make a pass here. Then there's a, you know, is that Tim Mawson is right up for the t right there as well. So there's tenth place is there for the taking. And it just looks there she like goes, having a look. No, nope, not quite. Just looks like Janowski hasn't quite got the pace to latch onto the back of Mawson's Jack Goff machine there. Just behind these guys as well, we've got Steve Richardson who's running in 13th place with the yellow mirrors on that eBay Motors car. And, uh, as usual, a pristine car with not even so much as a scratch on it. Yep, absolutely um, consistent racer, Steve Richardson. Doesn't finish in the top 10 all that often, but uh, when he finishes, it's generally every single time. So, uh, Had some good runs at Charlotte though, didn't he? Had a couple of top 10s there. He did, yeah, he did. And it was a really impressive result, really. Uh, we're just, uh, just having a look down the field. A new entry, Mr. Niels Jordan, in the Pertec racing machine, is making a move on Robert Plumley now. So, will he be able to break it? He's got to be later on the brakes, but he's too far back. He's too far back to make this work. And uh, oh no, it's, sorry, it's the other way around. Plumley is um, looking to move past Niels Jordan, but uh, Jordan holds on to it. Plumley's in 17th. We saw Plumley do well at uh, Charlotte Motor Speedway, didn't we? And um, he seems yep. to be struggling a little bit with Alton Park. Well, it's one of those things. Some tracks work for some people and not so well for others. And um, just watch, still watching this battle with uh, Laura Bond and Julian Janowski. Janowski's got to be careful of the block in there. He's uh, 
He's made one move to go defensive, and then he's had another go and chopped across Laura's nose. And uh, your mic seems to be um, either you're cooking popcorn and battering, or you're about to explode. Yeah, your microphone's a little bit scratchy at the moment, uh, Matt. Not sure what's going on there, but um, I we'll think stay with it anyway. Connection issues with uh, both eye rating and number by the sounds of it. Well, we'll work through it anyway. Uh, Tim Mawson, this is a view from the back of his uh, Kia Optima, as that's Julian Janowski just behind, and Laura Bond, not exactly on the bumper of that Addison Lee machine, but she seems to be faster in the second part of the lap. Yeah, she's um. As I said, this is a tough battle. It's a tough place to overtake. Like it's not an easy track to uh, to get by. You're relying on the other guy making a mistake, really. And judging by the number of uh, disconnections, I'd say we're having some mumble server issues here, so it won't affect the stream. But apologies for the quality of the connection to our friend and colleague Matt Dalton. But uh, Mawson just pulling away from it now. We're on the final lap, so the leaders have started their final lap. It's still Ashley Sutton from Andreas Katz. Simon Field is too far back to make any kind of difference now. But this is the battle that we... Here, Chris. Good stuff. This is the battle that we want to um, stay on for the moment because Janowski is still under threat from Laura Bond. And is that a recovering Stelian Cepulewski? It is. Cepulewski's a uh, number of laps down, but he's um, recovering. So this could this could throw a little bit of a curveball into the situation, although he might want to respect these drivers and just stay behind for the final lap, Matt. You would hope so. Well, Ashley Sutton but, uh, is now on his know, final lap. Temptation is always there. Temptation is always going to be there if you decide that perhaps you don't want to play fair too much. Well, I think for the viewers at home, we would have uh, loved to see Cats kind of struggling, if you like, to overtake Sutton. But I think what we're going to see is Katz just tuck in behind, take the second place. He knows he had the pace to overtake, but didn't take it because he knows his main rival is out of the points. And it doesn't matter whether he gets, at this stage, really, whether he gets first or second. No, uh, this is almost like a... Well, this is probably better than a race win for him, isn't it? His main rival in the championship is out. You know, this is a good result. P2, he'd be quite happy with that. And by the way, Ashley Sutton as well. Proved us all wrong. Flawless drive from Ashley Sutton with just one corner to go, which is always a dangerous thing to say as a commentator. We'll just wait till he gets around yep. there before we confirm that, but he does take That's the victory. Uh, I stopped you before, though. No. <laughs> Sorry, Dave Gronhill. Ellis Stephen, good, great result for Ellis, P4. Tom Stanley, P5 as well. So, Sutton and Katz take one and two. Simon Field is just there in the background for Wicks Racing, taking the third place. Stevens and Stanley have Ooh. been attached to each other the entire race and uh, Stanley no way round but takes fifth position. He'll be more than happy with that. Russell Laidler in... Uh, well, he's a lap down actually, so we've lost him. And Nick McCarron takes the sixth spot. And they are the twin USA racing pair of Hefford and Diaz, so Diaz takes the eighth place. <laughs> and Diaz, yeah. He said he wasn't going to hang about, didn't he? Uh, we took Steve Hefford there on the last lap. Great move down into the chicane. And uh, Janowski, Mawson, Janowski, and Bond up to 9th, 10th, and 11th. So something, I imagine, had happened to one of those guys. Was it Russell Laidler? Did he lose it coming into one of the later stages of that race, which would have been a shame? So the results yeah, that's a cracking bit. up on your screen. All sorts of issues with mumble and English, Mike. Well, normally this is a stage in the race when we kind of go over to the drivers and say, uh, see if we can get hold of a few of them for comment, but with the connection the way it is, we might struggle. But, after a thrilling round 22 here at Alton Park, let's see if we can get a quick word with 7th place finisher Mr. Nick McCarran. Nick, are you there? Well done. And we're just having a few connection issues with Mumble, so, so apologies with that uh, voice chat doesn't seem to be working as well as it could be but fantastic result six um, seventh place you must be it was sixth place actually and you must be happy with that he's so happy he's speechless are you there Nick well uh, we seem to be having too many connection issues at the moment so uh, we have lost Nick McCarran unfortunately. And I believe the, the results that are up on the screen aren't correct, so they don't tally with our official timing sheet. So Russell Laidler, I believe, didn't make it 
to the last lap of that race and uh, came home a lap down so apologies that that information might be incorrect it's roughly correct roughly correct so uh, so good enough fantastic race and uh, we've also lost Matt Dalton so I'm all on my own here in the commentary box but uh, fantastic race from most of those drivers brilliant finish for Tom Stanley in fifth place and we've got two more races just like this coming up this evening we've got uh, round 23 and then the reverse grid in round 24 both 12 lap races from the same circuit from Alton Park and uh, due to the connection issues we're gonna take a quick break here on Twitch but if you're watching live then don't go anywhere just stay on the same page it will retune as soon as we get going again which will be in about 10 or 15 minutes time and if you're watching on YouTube just advance to the next video so thanks for watching stay with us and we'll be right back <laughs>